guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very fun tutorial featuring the Naked Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Yes, I am not like those other YouTubers that say, guys, I am not naked. No, bitch, I am full titties naked today and I love this look. This look is a beautiful, warm, smoky eye with a hint of cool blue liner and a beautiful orange lip of course bronze skin and i thought i would just get naked for you guys today and just film this tutorial put a t-shirt on my head and call it a day because it's just so much fun these colors are beautiful despite what other haters say about this palette on social media this is a da bomb oh my gosh look this is the bomb.com the packaging is beautiful I love it so much, and I hope you guys love this tutorial as much as I do. This look I call my barbecue look with a hint of ranch, okay? On my brother's channel, Peter, um, my brother is Peter, if you guys didn't know, we did a mukbang. Mukbang is an eating show, and I think it's really, really fun to eat on camera. Peter does it on his channel. He has a series called Mukbang Mondays. Mukbang means eating show. I have been eating with him here and there. He eats on his own. He eats with friends. If you guys want to check that out, we ate barbecue pizza with some salad, and that's what inspired my look today was a little bit of barbecue with a hint of Cool Ranch on the ass. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Hey guys, so I'm gonna take my milk blurring stick. It's like the professional in a deodorant form. I'm just gonna apply this all over my face to smooth out them pores, okay? I love this product so much. It really fills in everything. So for foundation, I'm gonna take the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Foundation, and I'm going to apply this on a flat top kabuki brush. I am in the shade 450 SUE Sue Neutral. And I like stippling this on the face. It really gets everything in. This color is literally me. So if you want a full coverage, I use a combination of beating the face and beating the face. So I'll push foundation into my skin and I'll also distribute it evenly in circular motions, okay? Oh, come All right, kids, I am back with my brows beat, painted and my eyes, creasing like a chicken on a Sunday morning at Waffle House. Okay, so I have the Tarte Maracuja Concealer, and I'm trying to bring this back. This is one of my favorites. It's heavy duty. I've been watching Drag Race. It's one of my signature favorites. So I'm going to take this on a flat brush. And just apply. Ooh, that is bright. Next, I'm gonna set immediately under the eyes using the German Blend Loose Setting Powder. My skin is looking so smooth. If y'all looked up smooth in the dictionary, this is what you would find. So now that I've set my eyes, next we're moving on to eyes. I have the star of the show. This is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This is the best palette. Urban Decay has came out with. I know there's been a lot of controversy. I have a new one just so I can give you the, the inspiration behind this. This palette is so hot they were inspired by a matchbox, which is like the design, like a matchbox. Ah! They have little burnt matches on the end. I am doing a giveaway on my Instagram and on my Twitter. Be sure to apply, but this is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Can we talk about this? This is so gorgeous. Yes. First, I'm going to take Sauce and Low Blow and apply this in the crease of my eye. These colors are to die for. And I'm going to use a Morphe M504 brush. So, to get that exotic look, I'm going to go ahead and pull the eyeshadow back. And if you guys are afraid, don't be afraid to do this. It just makes your eyes look more sexy and more smoky and more cat-like. And you can do this with shadows. So, I'm going to take the brush and pull the shadow back towards my temples and just bring it into the crease okay cute I love these colors next on my R39 brush I'm gonna take a little bit of he devil and rub this in the crease just to create some hot fire he devil is such a nice color I don't know about the name but it's a nice color Bitch, you can stop right here and you'll be good because I love, come on now. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of 
and fuego and ashes i'm gonna mix these two colors together to get that deep let's just call this combo deep devil <laughs> deep devil color i'm gonna run this through the crease ever so slightly just shove the brush in the crack of your eye and just go to town you know what's really cool about this palette i never thought like a deep bruised looking purple could deepen up a warm smoky eye but it's literally doing the trick oh my god i'm so good at makeup how much you charge to do makeup honey lashes five dollar more honey what this eye is everything and i ain't even done y'all just need to wait Y'all like my background? It's like I'm on fire. I'm melting. Why do these people gotta tape up my makeup as if it's a threat? Ugh. Okay, this one's the all-nighter, okay? So I'm gonna take the all-nighter and spritz a flat, janky brush that I cannot let go of. This is the Sigma E60. It's one of my favorites. I'm just gonna spritz this, and I'm gonna dip it into lumber right here because the shadows are very pigmented they have a little bit of fallout but the payoff is great so i'm using this as an adhesive and i'm pressing the brush into the shadow and i'm going to uh you see no fallout i'm just gonna swipe it onto the eye and press it in oh my god Urban Decay gifted all the YouTubers and said, you shall have content for your channel for the same look you've been doing for the last year. A warm, smoky eye. Guilty. Now I'm taking a little bit of Scorched and using this deeper frost on the edge of the lid. Right around here. So it's like transitioning into the crease. Frost shades need their transition too. There's a shade called Dirty Talk in here. What's Dirty Talk? You nasty. You guys, look at this eye. It is so freaking pretty. You can go with a black liner, but I'm gonna do a twist like y'all saw on the intro. This is my hint of ranch, you guys. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Only face and body liquid color. It's a little bit drying, but I wore this when I did Katy Perry's makeup. You know, she's really fun with her liner and I haven't done a colored liner in so long. So I thought I'll just throw it on here and just give y'all a little twist, a little curveball, a little bit of color, a little bit of spice to make everything nice. So I'm gonna take the MAC 263. Do you see this brush? This brush is anything, anything. So I'm gonna take the liner. Oh, and this is in the color Aquarelle. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this on my brush just a little bit and build up this liner. Next, I'm gonna take my Miami lashes and uh I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara by MAC called Extended Play. So moving on, I'm going to dust all my baking powder and use the Charlotte Tilbury number no. 3 Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Now with a tulip brush, Katy Perry loved this brush. I used it clean on her. And this is my personal brush because she just loves that makeup being packed in her face. I do too. If you love a full coverage under eye, I would get this tulip brush. But this is the Makeup Forever powder in the color 128. And I'm just going to press this here. This is a foundation powder. I like it because it has extra coverage. You can see I'm only doing the highlighted area. I'm not touching this under the eyes because I don't want it to be too wrinkly. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this right here as well. This brush is, she don't fuck that my brush. This is one of my favorite parts to makeup is just brightening this area. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of Sun Power by MAC. This is a mineralized skin finish. This is real orange, but it's only appropriate. Now for under the eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of cayenne and and fuego and dust this underneath my lash line do you guys see how it opens up the eye mm -hmm. looking real cute 
Okay, I'm gonna turn on my grinder tonight, okay? Oh, you know, I'm gonna pop in a little bit of alkaline. This is like a dark, deep, burgundy plum pencil and pop it in the waterline. So surprisingly, I'm gonna contour my nose with the shade Low Blow from the palette. It's warm enough for me. I'm gonna snatch this nose real quick. Wow, I am on RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay, let me tone it down. See, things on camera be looking different. So for the highlighter, I'm gonna take Stila Bronze. This is not too bright because of my textured skin. I like it because it's just enough. I don't want anything too blinding because I'm still very insecure about my texture. Now, I know this other pencil that came in the Naked Heat collection is an eyeliner. This one is called Torch. It's a beautiful orange. Let me tell you, I used this yesterday as a lip liner and it is TLF, hashtag to live for. I'll see how much I overline from my lip. It's crazy, look how, look how my small lip and then my Patrick Star lip, it's crazy. Is this not the coolest lip color ever? To top it all off, I'm gonna take a little bit of Fuel from the Naked Heat collection and pop it in the center. And last but not least, a little bit of all nighter so I can get on grinder. I'm just kidding. And spritz my face. I'm gonna change and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, this is the finished barbecue look with a hint of ranch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This look is so easy to do, it's so fun. Snatch the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. By the way, don't forget to enter my giveaway. I am having a giveaway on Instagram and Twitter. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys had fun on this talk through tutorial. If you guys want to see more of these, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!